Well, I found the valve I've been looking for. I wanted to show you guys. It would be too easy if it was this valve right here. It's actually the one that was a foot and a half underground right next to it. We've got some fish tape in the pipe. We sent it up the lateral line to where we presume the valve is going to be, given that that's a two and a half inch lateral line. It's more than likely going to the valve. So once we have the fish tape in the lateral line and we've sent it all the way up to the valve, the next thing that we do is we attach our tracker to it so that we can track the metal fish tape inside of the pipe all the way to the valve. Once we fed it up that pipe, it led us to this area over here that has a valve box, except the tracker took me over here. And this is when I pulled out the camera. That little spot right there is an opening. As I'm digging, dirt is falling in there. I have a feeling this is where our valve is at. And there's that hole with the rest of the valve box. Next, I'm gonna finish removing the rest of the dirt around the valve box, remove the valve box, all right, before I go any further, I wanna point a couple of things out. First of all, this valve has not been uncovered since the day it was installed. A couple of things to note here is that the wires are wrapped around the top of the valve. That is indicative of a fresh install. And the duct tape that was probably used to cover the main line before they installed the valve or even maybe the lateral side of the valve before they installed the zone is also here. So this valve has not been touched since it was installed. This is a two inch Toro AG 700 valve. It's capable of producing 180 gallons a minute, which we don't need because this zone only produces 70 gallons a minute. The valve that I'll be replacing this with will be an Eritrol 200B valve that's capable of five gallons a minute to 120 gallons a minute. I'm it also not going to plumb it in the way that you see here. I'm going to come up with an elbow on this side and on this side. And the reason for that is this valve is installed about a foot and a half underground, and that's not going to be serviceable in the future. So by reinstalling the new valve a little bit higher, we'll make it serviceable in the future. Now that we've got the 200B installed and wired in, all that's left to do is put the dirt back in the hole with a brand new valve box that I got sitting right here so that we can find this valve in the future if we ever need to again but it'll be working when we're done, so might be a while. And there you have it. We're all backfilled. We've tested it. Everything is working, and now the valve won't get lost. Looking in there, you can service this valve very easily. All right, now that we're done with this one, on to the next one. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it.